Hey, what's going on, THP? This is Clayton, the Catalyst 401 on the THP forum, and um, it's the last day of the granddaddy. It's bittersweet. Um, the event was so absolutely breathtakingly amazing, and it's over. Um, tonight, I got to spend a couple of hours with the guys that um, have made it the THP, our team THP, and guys i've i've been getting to know for um for some for almost seven seven months now and um we just spent time talking reflecting and enjoying laughing um day four to me probably was the funnest day of all i think um everybody settled into their equipment everyone's um settled into the event you realize what it's about and what's most important and it really is about the experience. It really is about it all. This morning, we got in. Um, I OD'd on some sliders. Uh, sorry about that. I OD'd on some sliders and um, just got ready to get rolling. We got out early. Um, had some great matches. Had a blast. I got to play with uh, Pete and, uh, and Luke. Uh, second day playing with Luke and also uh, Dave on our team. Man, we had so many laughs. It was a blast. We had a great uh, sponsor um, from uh, from the the hideaway, and it was just amazing. I really the, the amazing thing about this event is that you really cannot articulate it. It's something that has to be experienced. It's something that as much as I could do to tell you how beautiful the views are and how. Um, incredibly generous uh, the team from Callaway and uh, the people at the the hideaway are and um, the sponsors and Al and all the people who help make this possible um, it just does not do it justice it doesn't it, it's it is the most amazing four days of golf and fun um, I could have even imagined and in all of the hype that builds up to the event and the things that you hear doesn't even come close. The views, the pictures you see uh, of the hideaway, nothing compared to what it is in person. And the funny thing is, we actually had some rain and cloud cover, and it was still absolutely breathtaking. It was amazing. Um, and we just had a blast. We had some incredible golf being played. Um, we had some matches that got pretty close before things kind of spilled over and, and, um, and the zoo crew took it. But it was... Golf brought us together for this event, um, but it was about so much more. And so um, I guess my day four recap really is a thank you. It's a thank you um, to my teammates for being uh, family, for being amazing, for being sounding boards for me, for listening. Um, when I share things that are going on in my life, it's a big thank you to our captains, two amazing captains who... Um, just have done everything in their power to make this event <clears throat> to make this event special for 12 guys so um frank thank you uh philly v thank you um you guys are our gifts and um i just i don't know if you ever realize the impact you had on on the 12 of us or 11 of us i should say um and the guys that the way we came together was because of all the effort you guys put into this event. So thank you. Um, thank you to Harry. Thank you to Finley, um, Mr. Sean Toulon, Mr. Cleveland for showing up today, to Al, to Steve and the team for grinding to get all of our equipment done um, overnight and, and accommodating us. Thank you to all the fitters. Um, thank you to, to all of the zoo crew, man, to Luke, to... Um, Matt to to I mentioned Steve, but to Velardo and and uh, and Jeff, you know I got a chance to to be a part of the uh, the ship show today with um, AJ and, and uh, Jeff Newbaum, and <laughs> it was it was amazing, man. You know, hearing like sitting down and and, and chatting with these guys, um, you guys will get to see the or listen to the podcast um, maybe tomorrow, but. It was just amazing. The bus ride was so fun. Just, you know, getting to chop it up and, and chat with uh, with Pete um, and, and 
just laugh and, and some of the other guys um, that were there. It's just just a fantastic four days and I really have not stopped smiling. So anyway, um, I think the bus ride back to reality um, kind of gave me a chance for at least a few minutes to start to realize um, all of what I just experienced and, and what us as a team, you know, we as a team uh, were able to go through. And it's just, it's flabbergasting. It's humbling. Um, don't really know how to put it in words, but uh, it is a chance. Um, it's an opportunity to that I hope many others get to experience. Um, I can tell you the equipment is the best I've ever played across the board. And I can say that unequivocally without any concerns of bias. It is the best I've ever played. And I just, I, I had a blast. Um, and the fitters know what they're doing. So um, I'm sure you guys have quite a bit to go through through the threads. I'm going to be updating quite a bit because I have bad coverage out there. So you guys will see a lot from me. But um, Harry, thank you. Thank you for this opportunity. And um, to JB and Gigi, who works in the background tirelessly to make sure um, things like this happen for us, I cannot thank you enough. Um, you guys are amazing. And I really, really, really appreciate um, the opportunity. I grew up in Sacramento um, in, in ec economic conditions that were a far cry from what I got a chance to see this weekend. And never in my wildest dreams did I ever think I'd be able to ever step foot into a place like that. But you guys made it possible. So <clears throat> thank you. And um more to come. So anyway, uh, it's late and the granddaddy is a wrap 2018. Um, but I've gained new brothers and new family members and it's been awesome. So signing off until next time. Talk to you later.